always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Fantastic day today. This is how it looked out of Port Sheldon, Lake Michigan, especially glassy, and that's going to really help to have our water temperatures warm up quickly. Temperatures right now sitting about 57 degrees in Grand Rapids, 58 in Muskegon, so we're still quite mild to the winds out of the east. Tonight we should drop down to a low of about 50 degrees and then very swiftly warm up. By 10 a.m., 66 degrees. By the time we get to noon, 74, so similar to what we felt like today. And then we're actually... I'm going to surpass today's high temperatures by climbing even further. High temps up near 80 degrees by 4 p.m. It's going to be a really lovely day. If we zoom out on Storm Track Live, you can see that we do have some activity. It's just not impacting us here in West Michigan. So you have some cloud cover to the north, a few storms over near Minneapolis, and some cloud cover to the south. This eventually is going to move our way, but again, not tomorrow. Tomorrow is another day with full-fledged sunshine and even better, low humidity. So it's not going to be a sticky feel, even though temperatures warm up to 80 tomorrow, a good five degrees warmer than we were today. Sunrise tomorrow, 625, sunset getting closer and closer to 9 p.m. And of course, civil twilight is now past 9 p.m., which means we hold on to some of that light even past the 9 p.m. hour. Now, if we look at your two-day planner, you can see that there's a big contrast between Thursday and Friday. Friday temperatures are a little bit more typical for this time of year, 70 degrees, but they're brought to us with some clouds and some scattered showers, even an isolated storm. The thing about Friday's rain is it's not going to impact everyone evenly. So let's show you how it moves in. This is your future cast for tonight. You can see quiet conditions through Thursday. Thursday, a beautiful day. Here's the cloud cover moving in for Friday. And by the time we start Friday morning, we should start to see the cloud cover advancing. That means some north of I-96 might actually wake up to sunshine Friday morning. Others near I-94 could wake up to a light rain shower. Eventually, the showers went out by the afternoon. Most of us will be seeing a chance of some light rain with cloudy skies, and there's your chance of a thunder shower. This quickly moves back out, however, with a cold front. So this means that the rain on Friday is going to be purely a one-day thing. In terms of amounts, it's really going to vary. We're not expecting a whole lot, though. So this isn't going to be a soaker of a system, just around through the day. Showers will move out by the time we get to the start of the riverbank run. At least that's how it's looking for timing as of now. The start of the race, 58 degrees and a touch humid with dew points, with the uh, dew points sitting at about 53. Here's the eight-day forecast for you. You can see just a chance of a shower Sunday, and then next week it's back to some sunshine.